One of the things I like to emphasize my, to my students is to try to create as much torque on the golf club as possible and take it off the body. This is particularly uh, fruitful if you're a senior golfer. What I mean by that is when you watch somebody that's a, a particularly good golfer, they have an economy of body movement with a lot of club head motion. And when you watch somebody that's not as good, they have a tendency to not have as much club head motion with a lot of body movement. So what in, in essence happens with somebody that doesn't create a lot of torque is they sort of take the club back and they, it looks as though they're kind of pushing the ball down the golf course with their body movement and it looks something like this. Okay, now I use a lot of effort with my body in hitting that shot. What I, what I prefer to emphasize is you create a lot of motion on your backswing. You feel that you lag the club and you feel like you get a good lash. You can actually use a lot less energy with your body but create much more energy with your club if you do that. And this is what that looks like. You get the club swing with good motion, drag the club, feel as though you get a good lash, and a good way to get a sense of that is to make the club whistle in the air. And this is what that looks like. It was much easier for me to keep my balance because my body wasn't working nearly as hard. I got a good lash and I had a lot more club head speed. So if you feel that you've been working too hard to hit the ball, try this, make the club work, and I think you'll be really happy with the results.